defining a dynasty in this past weekend. The team won its seventh baseball title, its most unique title. Yet, as Seth Lewis explains tonight, that championship encompasses much more than just one season. I think we run with like 18 out of 21 teams, and then it's just all over. Like, we knew we were going to win it. LSU Eunice was a perfect 21-0 before the pandemic halted the season in 2020. Immediately, a group of sophomores decided they had unfinished business. There was still work to be done, you know? Like, it was like we had a mission, and we knew it was still right in front of us. We knew this was a powerhouse program, and... And we knew we had something special, and I, I wasn't going out sad. Eight Bengals returned for their third year in Eunice, which gave the coaching staff unique flexibility entering the spring. You knew as a coach at a two-year school, you were going to have more third-year players than you ever had, which meant you had more experience. Also, you knew it meant you had more leadership with guys that had been here before and kind of knew the ropes to help the younger guys along. LSU Eunice pretty much crushed everyone they saw in the regular season, starting 42-4 and before a run rule loss to Baton Rouge Community College in their final home game was followed by a COVID outbreak among the team. But that adversity proved to be the charge they needed going into the postseason. After that game that we got beat, uh, we had a pretty long team meeting in left field and kind of talked about some of the things that we needed to address. And our, our players started to learn that you do have to forget. You got to move on. You, you can't let the past define you. The Bengals advancing to the Junior College World Series, where in the championship series, they needed 14 innings in game three to win the title over Western Oklahoma State. Any type of adversity hits, you know, they get punched in the mouth. They, they were able to get back up. And that happened, you know, came to fruition, you know, really on Saturday night when, when really the statistics say we don't win that game. For the Bengals, it's their seventh trophy, the most ever in junior college history. But for the eight sophomores, it's validation that patience plus hard work can result in gold. We all held each other accountable and we held ourselves to a really high standard. For those that did come back, they would all agree that it was super rewarding. Just knowing how hard you worked with like this group of guys and how like how long you've put in this work and how just the things you've done together and for it all to pay off is just like undescribable. In Eunice, Seth Lewis, KTC Sports.